basically it's just two incidents that we recovered all this. Nearly 30 firearms, various drugs, cash and other stolen property were on display at their latest show and tell. According to Serious Crimes Unit Constable Tim Hankton, a good portion of the paraphernalia displayed related back to a February incident where a 26-year-old male had been kidnapped, shot multiple times and left in a rural area before receiving medical care. Because of the search warrants that we executed in that investigation, we managed to seize a good portion of this. Although numerous persons of interest were tracked down by RCMP, Hankton believes the majority have been released on bail, with many of the suspects having left the community. With the incident from February, it was largely a organized gang that operates out of the Lower Mainland, or originated in the Lower Mainland, and uh, we're trying to set up operation here. And because of the result of our investigation, we managed to, to disrupt a large portion of their operation. So for the most part, they're no longer functioning in Dawson Creek for the time being anyways. As that investigation is ongoing, no charges have been laid. In a separate incident, a traffic stop also led police to seizing more firearms, something authorities are calling the weapon of choice when it comes to drug-related activity in the city. Over the last week, there was a traffic stop that resulted in a couple of handguns being recovered, which then spurred a couple more search warrants that resulted in large firearm seizures. As for the drugs, authorities claim large portions of the cocaine, fentanyl tablets and powdered ecstasy seized weren't in their purest form, with many of them cut down with other lethal agents. I know with the uh, fentanyl pills that have been going around, they are being largely related to a lot of unexplained deaths from drug users. Well, not many that I know of in Dawson Creek, if any, but I know in larger areas they've been on large spike because of the fentanyl use. In addition to the tabled items, RCMP revealed that they're in the process of investigating another break and enter from the past week where 15 firearms were stolen from a local residence. None have been recovered. Natalie Quinlan, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.